Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a recipe. I'm doing a vegetable penne pasta with an acorn squash sauce. It's going to be magnifique. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe here uh, so you can see what else I come up with. And I'll also be putting a link down below for the blog post which will have this recipe in it and that way you have all of the specific ingredients and measurements and yeah, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy this video and um, eat some of my delicious food. Alright. squash in the oven baking. I've got water on to boil and we're going to go ahead and uh, put the pasta in there as it has started boiling at this point. I like to put a little bit of salt to my water just to keep the pasta from sticking and then while that's cooking uh, according to the, to the directions, uh, I got whole grain, 100% whole grain pasta, so I did about half a box of this, and I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes. Okay, while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and cut up our veggies. So we've got a red pepper, some broccoli, asparagus, a little bit of chives, uh, minced garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, and a little bit of almond milk. I get the um, original unsweetened. I don't like flavoring and sugar added in there. So, we're going to go ahead and do this part. Well, I've got a medium-sized skillet over here that I've already put some uh, olive oil in to coat the bottom of the pan. I don't have this turned on yet. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my veggies and put them directly into the skillet. this cook in a bit. Give my pasta a stir. Let's check on that squash. putting about a quarter cup of water and covering this so it can steam 
and that is almost done. I've turned off the stove for the pastas. It's finished. And now we're going to make our squash. pepper. I like mine extra spicy, so on the recipe I say half a teaspoon, but I do a whole teaspoon. I mean, it's up to you. I know not everyone's a spicy fan, so you know. the taste test. Oh yeah. It's good. It's perfect. Alright, let's check these beauties out. Oh yeah. They look pretty perfect. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? I sprinkled a little bit of chives on here for a garnish, and if you want, you can even add some noosh. nutritional yeast. Yeast, not yeast. You know. You know what I mean. Now, it doesn't really look pretty, but it adds a little cheesiness to it if that's your thing. So you guys are done. You want to make sure that you compost all these extra veggies. I have this adorable little composter that my mom got me. It has compostable bags and I can just toss everything in here. No waste baby. No waste.